Here's three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived with their mom. As the pigs began to get older, their house seemed to feel smaller and smaller. It was time for them to build houses of their own. So the pigs said goodbye to their mom and began their journey. The first little pig came across a farmer pulling a cart of straw. He asked the farmer if he had any straw to spare. The farmer gave him lots of it, so the first little pig decided to make his house out of straw. The second little pig saw a woodcutter with a cart of sticks, so he asked if he could have some. The woodcutter gave him a bunch, so the second little pig built his house out of sticks. The third little pig met a builder who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of bricks. The pig thought this would be the perfect material for a house, so he asked if he could have any. <coughs> Luckily, the builder had more bricks than he needed, so the third little pig built his house out of bricks. This pig's house ended up being much bigger and way stronger than the others. Now, all three little pigs had a house of their own. They were all very happy. Then, one day, a big bad wolf came upon the first little pig's house of straw. The wolf knocked on the pig's door. And then it said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig replied, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. The big bad wolf shouted, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So the big bad wolf did just that. It huffed and puffed and blew the house of straw in. and the little pig ran all the way to his brother's house of sticks. But the big bad wolf was soon at the second little pig's house of sticks. The wolf knocked on the pig's door. And then it said, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. The little pigs replied, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in. The big bad wolf shouted, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Just like before. So the two little pigs ran all the way to their brother's house of bricks. But once again, the big bad wolf found its way to the third little pig's house of bricks. The wolf knocked on the pig's door. And then it said, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. The little pigs replied, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. The big bad wolf huffed and puffed. But this time, nothing happened. It huffed and puffed some more, but the big bad wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. It was far too strong. The angry wolf climbed up the house, onto the roof, and slid down through the chimney. Little did he know, the pigs were cooking up dinner, so it landed right into their big pot of boiling soup.
He jumped out of the pot, ran out of the house, and took off down the road. The big bad wolf was gone for good. Hooray! The three little pigs then lived happily together in the house of bricks. The end.